Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is a quick tutorial on how to fix the failed Zlib call error on GTA 5. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate down to your search bar here and type run. If you're using Windows 7, 8 or 10, you can use this search bar. Um, next you're going to type CMD and press enter. Uh, if you do not have this search bar, you can navigate to your keyboard and press uh, the Windows key and the R key at the same time and this will appear then type CMD and press OK ok so what you're going to want to do next is copy this line here without the quotes I'll leave all of this in the description for you and you're going to want to press Ctrl and V and hit enter ok next you're going to want to copy this bit here Go back to the CMD, press Ctrl and V, press Enter. What this is going to do is it's going to check for any errors in your um, GTA 5 installation. Um, it might take a while, so just let it do what it has to do. Okay, so if, if you are using Steam, this is going to be uh, slightly different for you. But uh, it's fairly simple. So what you're going to want to do is go onto Steam, go onto your library, and select your GTA 5 game. Um, next, you're going to navigate over the game. I'm, I'm using RimWorld here because I don't have GTA 5 on Steam. You're going to right-click, press Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and you're going to want to select this line of text here. Next, you're going to want to repeat the um, the process that I showed you at the start so bring up CMD and you're going to want to copy and paste use that okay so once you've entered your steam file directory for GTA 5 obviously this will be GTA 5 you're going to want to copy this line of text that we copied earlier and paste this into your CMD and press enter so this should fix the problems for the steam users um, so that's the end of the video. If you have any problems or questions, just leave a comment down below and uh, have a good day.